Hello everyone, so I'm finally back from my break. I've been thinking for some time what kind of video I should create and since I haven't been using Claude that much, I think I didn't have so many interesting ideas for that, but finally they released a new version and I thought this would be a perfect uh, first video after my break just to go through the new features. There are quite a few and very interesting ones and I think this is the first time in a while where I actually feel excitement. They have the GPU simulation improvement, which I've been waiting for for a long time. Trim simulation looks great. I hope it works. And I'm very excited for the light theme because my old eyes get so tired after all the screen time. And I do prefer light theme instead of the dark one. Colorway improvements. Let's see what's up with that. And color switch. Finally, I'm so tired of using all the workarounds for such a simple task. And then, oh yeah, this one I saw, I was very excited. I love rendering fur, I love creating outfits with fur, but often looks very flat and not very realistic. So I think these new fabrics look great and I'm excited to see how they look in an outfit. And then unlinking internal line, took them long enough <laughs> to do that. And then seam tape extension, it has been doing that actually but usually when the seam, seam tapes are kind of overlapping there's some issues with mesh so i'm really interested to see how they tackle that and then what else i saw oh some pin improvements some joint improvements oh finally divide avatar mesh is back let's see how long it stays i really like that feature but i think some time ago they took it out it didn't work and then you had to use some workaround and then now it's back so hopefully it, it is here to stay oh quad mesh improvement great panoramic colorways oh interesting and oh yes clo ai chatbot that's what we definitely need anyway let's get to work okay so anyways here's the new and improved clo and the first thing i want to do i want to change to the light theme okay how can i do that let's check where is it? Settings, user, settings, user interface. Okay. Settings, user settings, user interface. Color theme, light. Yes, please. Close. I'll be back in a second. Well, I have to be honest. I love it. I absolutely love it. My eyes feel better right away. I don't know, maybe... It's because I'm old, I really don't like the dark mode on anything. Because it's too much contrast, my eyes get very tired very quickly. So this is great improvement. Thank you, Chloe. Okay, then the next one. Let's check the GPU simulation. Okay, so I have this uh, wedding dress file here and it's quite heavy. And it's not even on particle distance 5, so I will put all these on particle distance 5 and then the top part is on I think lower particle distance because as you can see there's a lot of folds here so this was really difficult to create actually oh, and I have subdivision here so I should have deleted that because that's not going to be a good time for sure okay it didn't crash so it's already a good sign however I have subdivision here and let's check with the mesh. You can see it's totally small. So that's, I, I think it's not really necessary in this case. So I will reset. Was that how you remove it? Okay, as you can see, it's barely moving. I can't even zoom in and out in the normal simulation mode. So that's how intense and heavy this skirt is. So let's change to GPU. Okay. Let's see what happens. Okay, this is GPU now. I can actually, I can zoom in and out, which is great. Let's see the movement. Oh, I can move it. It is slow, but the fact that I can move it, it's already, I think, huge improvement. 
I'm sure Style 3D is much faster. I think I've made like something like this in Style 3D and you know, of course, it moved without a glitch. So this in comparison is still really slow, I would say. However, it's much better than it was before. So I think they are on the right track. Okay, now let's check my favorite cargo pants because here I have a lot of pockets and trims and it's also quite heavy of a file. So let's see, see how stable it is. Oh no, it's really nice, I think. It's really nice. This is particle distance 5. Yeah, I'm really happy about this one because oftentimes when working with low particle distance you do want to create these like small fine wrinkles and you want to style them in a certain way and when with the with their usual simulation mode it's very difficult to get like all the wrinkles nice it's very slow process and with this you can really style the wrinkles very nicely and move things and like these small issues that often happen when you change particle distance like some corners are bending in i mean this is very smooth very smooth yeah great so i have a bunch of trims here like this and they are basically placed on um, transparent pattern pieces so if i put the opacity up you can see i have a pattern piece here so let me delete this pattern piece Okay, here's my trim. It's not glued, so right click. Okay, so it seems to be not working with GPU simulation. So now, okay, activate. So in that case, this will be very slow, so I will freeze everything and I will unfreeze only this one. Okay, now it's activated, so simulation. So it should simulate. Oh, it's working. That is great. This is an amazing improvement. I'm a bit sad it doesn't work with GPU simulation. That would be absolutely amazing. However, you know, the time that it takes to... I have so many trims here. To put them on these pattern pieces and to make sure that the trims go through the those loops correctly and you know when you animate it it takes long time to fix everything so this improvement really will save hours for sure and i think yeah i'm very happy i am impressed i'm happy this is great okay so now let's check this color switch so i have the fabric and here there is recolor and switch. Okay, I'll do the switch. Oh, what happened? Okay, now let's add the color. Maybe this one. Hmm. Wow, this takes a long time. Who has time to wait so long for a color change? It's crazy. <laughs> well, while the texture still is very good, but what is this? I think something happened to the repeated image, maybe some bug, I don't know, but to be honest, it takes too, too long. I don't know if I would use it at this point. But, you know, at least it's one step forward. I hope they improve that. 
Okay, now let's do the fur one, the one that I really wanted to try the most. And I already downloaded a um, bunch of the new fur fabrics that they offer for free. Oh, this is so beautiful. Okay. So I will add them to the object browser and then let's see how they look in the render. So basically what it offers with this special little button you can find here is to control uh, some settings with maps, which looks like is giving a really great and natural result. So this is the window where you can do that. And there are several properties you can change, which I will have to get into and explore. But you know, the result looks so amazing. I'm so excited for this one. Let's check another one. And this is the curly one. I think it looks really natural in comparison to before, whenever you wanted to make something like this to create Sherpa type of um, fabrics, it tend to look very gray. It didn't, the color didn't look accurate. It looked very gray and very fake. And I think this, this is really amazing. Yeah, this is fantastic. I'm so excited to try it out and uh, to see what happens when you render an animation. I think there's a lot of fun things that I can experiment with. So yeah, definitely a nice feature for sure. Okay, now let's check out the pin improvements. Apparently now I can copy pins to symmetric patterns. So let's try it out. And here, for example, I would want to have the same shape as I have here on the opposite side. So for that, I will use the pin box. I will drag it around here. So this is the area that I want to set. And now if I right click, duplicate to symmetric pattern and it does not look so great. And it totally makes sense because the mesh of symmetric patterns is not actually symmetric as well. So that means if I copy the position of all these pins to the other side, they can't really make the same shape with this mesh because the mesh is not the same. So it's kind of like pointless and it does not look good if I hide the pins. Yeah, not quite sure how useful this one is. And now I want to check out this divide avatar mesh. As I mentioned before, this feature already existed some versions ago, but then it was removed. And I have a video on how to do it with a workaround, which was not very convenient, but well, couldn't be helped. So here, when you click on the avatar, you should be able to see this divide mesh option here. And what it does, it divides the mesh of the avatar. And now if previously you would see these kind of lines here, especially when you have tight fitted garments, now as you simulate, everything is smooth. Okay, let's try the AI chat bot. Okay, ask a question. What kind of question I wanna ask? What is a good use case for duplicating, duplicating pins to a symmetric pattern? A good use case is when you want to ensure that both sides of garment maintain and a consistent design or shape. If in one side of a jacket to create a certain drape or fit, you can quickly duplicate those pins to the symmetric side. This allows you to achieve balanced look without manually pinning each point to the opposite side. Ensure that the garment appears symmetrical in design and fit. And you can do this by blah, 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 blah. blah. Okay, okay, so, hmm. Okay, now I have sort of an idea. So I let me try it out. Okay, so I will open the jacket. And let's say I will add a pin here. I will bring back the visibility of the pin. Okay, 
Okay, something like this. Now, duplicate the symmetric pattern. Okay, okay, yeah, that's a that's a pretty good use case for that. I agree with the AI chatbot. So I can take my negative judgmental words back. This function might be actually pretty useful and also the AI chatbot might be useful as well. So that will be my finishing line for this video. Okay, this is it for the video. Thank you for watching and I hope you go and check out close official webinar as well because they might reveal some features that were not listed or were listed on some other list and that I didn't mention or see. Um, so yeah, go ahead and explore because I feel like this release is actually pretty good and the features are working quite well so I'm excited to use it after my break and I'm excited to create some new videos, some new, some new 3D garments. Yeah, so thank you for watching and have a good day. Bye!